In this video, I'm going to talk about the fact that AI is here and it's going to stay. This is the future. And I'm going to talk about a lot of artists that are going to struggle with it. And I'm going to discuss ways that I think they can survive this. My name is Dalim, for those who don't know. I am a comic artist and a character designer. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like on dalim.inc. And I am trying to be more consistent here on YouTube. And so I'm trying to focus more on the content and not on the editing. So my videos will, from now on, will be raw like this, just straight to the point. So basically what I did is some research and I had my bullet points right here in front of me on the computer and we're going to talk about it. First, for those who don't know, I'm going to explain what is AI art. Just a quick Google search gave us this. Artificial intelligence art is a form of artwork created using algorithm and technology. It encompasses a variety of styles and formats, including visual arts, music, poetry, film, and performance. AI-generated artwork can be made using machine learning, deep learning, or both. Simply put, AI is a robot that grabs photos from the internet, mashes them together, applies a style filter over them, and gives you a beautiful picture. That's it. Next up, we need to know the definition of art to know why we are at risk and why is all this hype about AI art. Art, just a quick Google search again. Art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Now the difference between AI art and art is the fact that AI art was made based on a prompt and a click, while art takes a lot of time, a lot of emotions to create. And that is the key point here. As the definition said, art is emotions expressed in a visual form so people can be entertained with it or inspired or educated with it for example while AI art is photo generation photo generation mashing photos together applying filters gives you millions of beautiful photos in seconds now why the artists are raging about AI is because that I think this is mainly because of social media engraving the idea of content creation into our heads because nowadays we think that everything is content everything our art is content art is not content art has emotions has a process behind it has many hours of hard work put into it AI photo generation on the other hand doesn't have all that one click, you create thousands of pieces of content that you can put on your socials and get a few likes. Sorry, that was my spoon. Okay, so basically, the fact that artists are raging about AI on the internet is a lost cause, in my opinion, of course, because their only argument is the copyright infringement. And sadly, that is not a strong one. It's a weak argument. You cannot say that AI is still in your art because it's not. It's getting inspired by millions of artists. And that is why we artists, we beginner artists do. We go online, look for the artists that we like and we get inspired by them and we create something original. Same thing the AI is doing. I can go right now and paint the view from my window in Van Gogh's art style. Is that copyright infringement? No. I am not saying it's Van Gogh's artwork. It's mine, in his style. It might not be an original art style or a unique art style, which is what sells nowadays, but it's art. I made it. 
It's not copyright infringement. This is why I think that this is a lost cause. And a lot of artists will suffer from this. A lot of artists are gonna lose their jobs. In fact, a lot of YouTube artists that we know, really famous YouTube artists with millions of subscribers, are going to suffer for the simple fact that their art style is so simple to mimic. AI can simply create a portrait photo or a, por a portrait painting of a person, of a girl, if you know who I'm talking about. AI can simply create landscape photos, landscape city photos. That is really simple. You can look online, you can go to any artificial intelligence website and you can find millions of portraits and millions of landscape photos. Now what these artists, or us, everyone, can do, maybe even our only choice is to adapt to survive. How can we adapt to AI? For one, we can use it to enhance our works just as we use any tool we have. The second choice we have is that we can go and we can be as unique as possible with our art style that AI can't replicate. And this one is a quite hard one. And the last point is that we can focus on our strength and show the process. AI is here to stay because of the money makers. As simply put, the same people who made the NFTs big are doing it again with AI art. It just works like that. These people do not care about the art. They only care if it makes money. If something makes them money, they are going to chase it. If this makes money, I don't care what is it, I'm going to sell it. This is how they think. This is why AI art is here to stay. Now they don't have to pay artists to create something for them. They only have to click and get millions of pieces of content. And as I said, our strength is the process. AI does not have a sketch before behind their photos and they don't have a process video behind their photos. So we need to focus on that. I think that is our strength. We are authentic. We are artists, we make art. AI creates photos. Point. It creates content. Thank you for watching. This was Dalin. Salam.